Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're going to be checking out one system from the user Salo. So a massive thank you to them for sending this in. So without further ado, let's check it out. So the system is called the... So let me just get out of here. Uh, let's go to... Let me modify. Yeah, here it is. So this Sidon system. Right. Okay. Another reading. Oh, right. How are we looking? System size. Uh, okay. Cool stuff. Okay. So the size system is a binary system about 232 light years away from the Earth. Um, from the Sun, sorry. Well, basically the same thing from that sort of distance, which is composed of the yellow dwarf star Sidon, a small red dwarf star uh, Ter Capitas, and 31 other planets and moons. Okay, so the star itself. Sun is a yellow dwarf star, which are actually white in real life. 1.37 times the mass of our sun and 1.20 times its luminosity. It has six planets, six planets around it. So, anyways, the star itself, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty standard star there. Right, first of the planets. So here's the closest planet. Oh, oh, it's moons losing mass as well. Right, check that out. That's quite a cool picture there, actually. The, uh, I uh, use that as a thumbnail. But um, yeah, anyways, the first planet, close planet to the sun, it has a thick grayish yellow atmosphere and a small moon orbiting it. And that moon is losing a lot of material, as we can see, so not good. Next up, we've got Curio. It's a, terrestri a reddish terrestrial planet in the system, which is a sort of binary with its moon bonk, which is almost half of its size. So here it is. So I'll wait for those guys said that. Next up, we've got Oropax. So next planet out earth like planet um okay lovely blue atmosphere and two small moons orbiting it so let's have a little look at it here lots of clouds as we can see 91 and 56 there very very nice okay life on urapax developed successfully there on the verge of launching their first satellite into space nice then we have calm over here moon one and then the second here. Alrighty. Next up, we got Idel. It's a frozen ice world that has likely been ejected out of the inner solar system, but an orbit has changed when it collided with an object of similar size and accurated the moon here. It grew large enough to make another binary in the system, both of the objects being ice worlds. Okay. Nice. Next up, we got Mole over here. First gas giant in the system. It has six moons. Um, and one of them has life, named uh, Nasty. Uh, Mole has a blue moon due to the presence of ammonia and water. Okay. Nice, good looking gas giant there. So, onto the moons. I'm guessing the one we want to go to is the green. No, it is not. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. It's just Nasty, yeah. Okay, so here it is over here. So, let's look underneath there. Kind of like a Titan like world, but nice oceans underneath that atmosphere. Check it out. Looking good. So there it is there, 74 and then 0. So there you go. Okay, moving on. So we've got this planet here. It's the reddest object in the system, which is 0.6 times the mass of Jupiter, so another gas giant. Being the dominant gas giant, it has a light century on its orbit. Um, it might have ejected uh, most of the inner parts of the system. It possibly had a collision which formed its 26 Earth masses moon. Okay, pretty large moon. Right, okay, cool. Right, now we're taking a jump to the second star over here. So this is Ter Septans, I hope I'm saying that right. I probably butchered like, everything as normal, so apologies. <laughs> so first of the planets. So uh, Rinaski is a planet 1.9 times the mass of the Earth and 1.2 times larger than it. Due to its proximity star, it only takes eight hours to complete one orbit. Portas is a weird planet with green deserts all over its surface. That's the next planet, sorry. Okay, uh, Green Dust World Service is unknown what caused Porter's colour to be green. It might remain unknown forever. Okay. Then we have Lucis T over here. An Earth like planet with a small yellow moon. It has got a friendly green atmosphere and vast deserts. Oceans cover most of its surface where unicellular life has begun. Excellent. 
and apologies for the loud noise outside, something's just going past I think. Um, anyways, yes yeah, so we've done that, okay, check his stats out, 95, 67, oh, 65 sorry, uh, and then it's got his moon there, okay, right, next up we have got Inequil, oh, focus on that, focus on that all right. It's by far the weirdest object in the system, said being an earth flight world divider. It has purple water, blue grass, and amazing magenta atmosphere in red clouds. So this is very, very strange. This is definitely life as we don't know it right here. Uh, there you go. Oh, no, water on, ice and snow off. There you go. Nice. Looking good. Right, and next up we have got... Whoa, I saw this. So, it's unknown why it has those features, but it might be because of the alien life totally from the life on the other planets and moons. And then next up, we have got uh, Lower Sipil, is an or a gas giant in colour which has lots of asteroid moons around it. It takes a month to go around at a speed of 31 kilometres a second. Okay, and there's his moons. Uh, just all regular bog standard moons by the looks of it. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so I think that does it for this system. So, there we go. Okay. There's a nice, uh, nice list of all the objects there. Uh, we'll get them all lined up. Why not? So there we go. And there's that one smoking up again. Yeah, I don't think I have to make the thumbnail of that because that one does look really cool. Probably could get quite a cool looking effect with that. But yeah, there is our list, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did hit that like button, a massive um, thank you to again to um, the creator Salo for sending in this system. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you all have a great day out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.